Hi everyone, this is part 16 of the build series of the Team Associated SC10 short course truck. Uh, in part 16 we will be focusing on the steering servo uh, assembly and installation. Now for this truck I am using a high tech HS425BB Deluxe Servo. Now I mean, it's it's not the you know latest and greatest servo. I mean, for what I'm doing and for this kind of truck, I mean, you don't really need um, big ser like real strong or real fast servos. I mean, if you want to put in a stupid fast high speed digital servo in it, I mean that's cool. Yeah, go for it. I mean. Everyone has their own preferences, but for this I'm just using one of these servos. Um, now I have gone ahead and done a few little things. I've uh, assembled the little uh, steering rod. I've put in the uh, <coughs> excuse me. I've put in the ball end and the dust cover, and I've put it put across the. Um, servo horn ring so basically I'm just doing things ahead just to cut down on filming time now when you put the uh, servo horn on just put it on like so and then when you do it just go from side to side okay so that's its full travel that's its full travel there so that way you know that's going to be roughly the middle so now what we'll do is we'll put on the servo horn screw just to hold it on to the servo there we go okay now the next part you'll also need some thread lock and you'll need the servo mounts and we have the screws and the washers necessary you'll also need the servo spacers this is just these servo spacers go on the servo mount like so and you and then you put the servo sorry you put the servo on top of that so we will need the appropriate uh, bit yeah, that's the one. Now, being metal on metal, you need some thread lock. Then you'll get your servo spacer. Now you can well, why aren't you putting the servo on? You'll see in a second. It's a being a high tech servo, it's a little bit different. Okay, now you put the spacer down. Make sure the washers are in front, then clips on like so. And then when you're putting it on, make sure that there is a slight gap between, um, so it's not flush with the servo, it's, it's down lower, that way the servo will fit bit better remember to do it do it fairly tight not too tight even though it is metal and metal you can still strip the thread okay now same procedure with the other one the thread lock 
Servo spacer. You can probably just do this in by hand. Same with this one. Remember not to cross thread it. Okay, same as before. Servo spacer on the mount. Washers forward. And clicks in. Okay, now the next part is to put it on the chassis. Same deal as before, metal on metal, the thread lock. This is going to be a bit of a hassle. We don't need these. Oh, lost the screw. And then we attach the clips. Put the lid on that so the thread lock doesn't go everywhere. There you have it, folks. There's the steering server. All done. Alrighty, folks, I'll see you in part 17 for when we install the motor and. The electronic speed controller.